morning, happy Wednesday, middle of the week. Um, today we're looking at when you question and believe. William Barclay, he was a Scottish minister, he said, endurance is not just the ability to bear a hard thing, but to turn it into glory. I don't know what you're going through or what you've already survived, but I do know this. Our God is a good God who loves us enough to sacrifice his own son, the greatest gift he could ever give us, just so that we can know him, just so that we can glorify him on earth, and just so that we can spend eternity with him in heaven. He loves us that much. We're able to love him or anyone else only because he first loved us. When hard things happen, and the best you can manage is even just to want to believe. That's enough. Don't stop wanting to believe. Sometimes even believing is hard, but that desire to want to believe is enough. Remember that God loves you. He doesn't love you because you believe in him so much. He doesn't love you because you do so much or trust so much or pray so much. He loves you. Without anything else added, he loves you. So just by wanting to believe is enough. Never stop wanting to believe. Allow that spark of hope to grow by trusting that God is right there beside you. Pray and ask God to help you overcome your unbelief. Like Habakkuk, ask your questions and then be prepared to listen to God's response. My prayer is that you would grow to have that Habakkuk kind of faith we see in chapter 3. But here's the deal. You can't have chapter 3 type of faith until you've had chapter 1 type of question and chapter 2 kind of waiting. Because God often does more spiritually in the valley than he does on the mountaintop. I don't have all the answers to your questions, but after loving God and serving Christ for more than 29 years, now here's what I can say. I've walked with Jesus for more than enough yesterdays to trust him with all of my tomorrows. Isn't that lovely? I think we can all say that, even if we've only been Christians for a short time. The fact that we are saved means that we can trust God with all of our tomorrows. If we can trust God to save us, to forgive us of all our sins, then we can trust him with every day that's yet to come. Sorry, I've just lost my place. Here we go. Do you want to know God and grow closer to him? Do you want that intimacy with him more than you want a comfort, easygoing, problem-free life? I kind of want both. Never stop wanting to believe. You can have hope in the dark because as you grow to know God, he will reveal even more of his love, his faithfulness, his grace. And over time you will realize, believe, and embrace that even when life is difficult, God is still good. So uh, that was our, our last devotional. On Friday, I'm gonna do a, a recap of everything that we've looked at. But let's take communion now, remembering that in the midst of everything, God is still good. Even when we don't understand, God is still good. Even in the midst of our pain, God is still good. Keep trusting in the character of God. Lord, we take this bread now. Lord, we know that you are good. We know that you are good because you sent your son to die for us. Lord, you accomplished for us the greatest victory on our behalf. Lord, and part of that is our healing. And even in the midst of our suffering, Lord, we choose to believe your word. Lord, thank you that you bore all our sorrows, all our pains. Lord, thank you that you did take that because your word says so. So even if we don't see it, Lord, we take this bread, we eat it trusting you, trusting your word. And we eat this bread and by faith receive our healing in Jesus' name. Amen.
And Lord, we thank you for this, this juice representing your blood. Thank you, Lord, that you washed away our sin. Lord, thank you that you made a way for us to live with you for eternity. Lord, sometimes all we see is what's in front of us. But Lord, thank you, you have great things planned for us. For eternity. Safe in your arms. So Lord, thank you for this juice. Thank you for your blood poured out for us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Sorry about my dog barking just then. Um, so yeah, see you Friday. Okay, bye.